all you alley cats, alley cat gamer here, and welcome back to One Hour, One Life. It's been a very long time since I played this game, and now that everything is in working order, I decided to go back to it and see how well I do. Now, I know that there's been a lot of changes, there has been many updates, so I know there's lots of food now, lots of different clothing, and there has been some mechanic changes, so there's stacking, and also the game is now on Steam, which surprised me because I remember the creator being adamant about it not being on Steam. But hey, it's a nice change and I like it. Now, I know there's one more thing that has been added to the game, and that is this, the tutorial. Now, I've been keeping away from spoilers of the, of the tutorial, and I was wanted to use it as a benchmark to see how well I remember this game. So, I'm going to go into the tutorial. I don't know anything about it. I've been keeping away from other videos about the tutorial, so let's just see how well I do. Because I'm interested in seeing how in-depth it is also. So, let's go! Connecting. Waiting to be born. Ooh. You have not been born into the game yet. This is the tutorial. Click the left mouse button to walk. What's this? This is the tutorial stone. So, yes, there are lots of new models as well. Ooh. The tutorial takes 15 minutes. You will learn cool stuff. And there are even some surprises hidden in here for you. Hello. That's an arctic seal. But fair warning, this works just like the real game. You can die in here if you're not careful. So, like before, we have a food meter, we have a temp meter, and I believe this is a curse token. Uh, navigation is automatic, even around complex obstacles. Open the door, then click the berry bush to walk there and pick up a berry. So holding this means I can just auto run through this maze. Bush. Eat. There we go. Starvation means certain death. Click the bush to pick a berry. Click yourself to eat. Pick and eat more until you are full. Very nice basic stuff for new players, which is good. I am now full, so I'm going to keep a hold of that. It's always good to have food in your hand. Click and hold near the edge of the screen to keep walking. Ooh. Follow my direction. Click the branch and pick it up. I heard a horse. Is there a horse nearby? Must be life. Wildlife around. Uh, okay, eat berry, pick up rock. Uh, pick up a branch and use on rock? Really? That's not going to work. That's not going to work at all. Bloop. No, and nothing happens. The tab key pages through ideas. A branch isn't on the list of things that work on a rock. No, it's not. It's definitely not. What else will you teach me? Getting hungry? Right click. Okay, so right click empty ground. Eat. So this is very basic stuff that I already remembered. Uh, let's have a look. What else do we have? Making a sharp stone. Sharp stones are very important. You take a rock, you right click, and you have a sharp stone. Sorry, you left click. My bad. You left click and you make a sharp stone. The base, the first tool you will ever make in the game and the most useful. Tab shows a sharp stone works on many things. Control tab for bigger page jumps. Well, that's nice and new. I didn't know that before. So, control tab. Hey! Neato! So this is the recipes. Very, very important if you want to know how to make things. Oh, and Z, Z tab goes backwards. Okay. I like that. So, probably getting hungry at this point. Okay, so, yeah. So you can use the sharp stone on things like this. This is burdock, and this is a wild carrot. With a sharp stone, you can dig them up. You cannot dig them up by hand, if I recall. I am getting hungry, so let's eat the burdock. I have a food. A yum chain. Let's have a look. There we go. Times two. Nice. And there's an onion. Here we go. Here's about the food chains. I, I heard about this. A chain of unique food increases a variety bonus multiplier above your food meter. Eating a meh food breaks the chain. So this is the food meter. So yum is good. I won't eat that yet. I know that's a little hard to understand. Just watch for yum and meh above your food meter before eating. So I guess I'll eat that now. So now I have a times three. I'm guessing that gives me... I don't know, does that give me three more bezels? Invisible bezels? So if I pick this same 
food, it is now meh, so eating that would be bad. A mono diet is always less efficient than a diet full of variety, but of course, sometimes you have no choice. Sometimes, yes. Let's make a basket. No problemo. Uh, so baskets are simple. You make a sharp stone with a round stone, and then you get these tool reeves, you cut them down. I don't even, I don't even need to read the tutorial because I remember how to do this. Do that. Do that. Basket. I'm going to put this in here. And take my sharp stone because that's important. So tool reeds, are, tool reeds are important for basket making. You'll only ever find them in this particular biome. The blue and yellow biome. The swampy biome. Actually, with the basket in hand, I can open doors. Hard to see. Oh, yeah. So, yes, there's a vertical door. And lots of food. So, let's put this down. Have a nummage. Because I want to make sure. Now, I have reset my food meter. I no longer have a bonus. It has gone from here, so I can... Take this with me, put this in two, and grab my sharp stone, and let's go all the way down here. Ah, uh, this is new. Hold space to freeze the camera while you work in one area. You can stoke the fire without fighting the camera. That's nice. So if I hold space... Hmm. Door. Door. There we go. I'm gonna put this over here. I will stoke the fire. Why not? Stoke it. Stoke it. I'm getting hungry too. But I might do. Let me take my sharp stone. I'm going to run back up because I want to keep my... uh These. I'm going to eat these. Get a mini chain. And then I'll probably reset after that. So. Nice fire. A uh, large fist fire. Can I add more to it? Can I add this to it? I can. Empty me. Door, door, stoke me. Yes, you can make signs. Release space on Freed's camera. Very good. Put that in there. I'm off. What is next in your tutorial? I like this. It's very basic stuff. Very basic stuff, but very important stuff. Let's just get this. Actually, no. Before I move on, let's actually heat up by the fire, because I can. So, it'll probably tell you this in the next section, I'm guessing. But this is very important, your temperature gauge. See, now that I'm nice and warm, it will, make, it will mean that I have to eat less. Here we go. You consume food more slowly when your temp meter is in the middle. Stand by the fire to warm up. Too cold or too hot speeds up hunger. So just like I said, I'm trying to stay warm. And my hunger meter is going down. This is a room. Walls and floors hold heat in a large area. Close the door to stop the heat from leaking out. So if I just stand here... Yeah. So if you're in a room, a small enough room, if it's too big, I think, if it's too big, the heat can't cover it all. But if it's just right, your temperature should go up with a fire in it. Like so. Am I getting hotter or colder? I'm getting, getting nice and toasty. Which is good. Time to leave. What's next? Cold areas dramatically increase your hunger rate. Warm up here before crossing the snow. Ooh, Prezi. I got some nice clothing. Clothing reduces the rate of heat loss. While holding clothes, click yourself to put them on. Very important, actually. I have a full set of clothing, which is nice. Shoes is silk skin coat, which is very nice. Loincloth and a hat. Now this should keep me nice and toasty. Let that get up a little bit. And I should be able to cross here. Hello penguins. Ooh, look. Gold. Gold. Clo uh, I already read that. Excessive heat can be just as dangerous as cold. Clothing can protect you from heat too. It can? I thought I would assume it would make it hotter. But okay. So this is the desert biome. Luckily, no snakes. If you ever need more... Uh, need to remove clothing, just click on them to take them off. Yeah, I don't need to do that. But I am going to have a berry. Apparently it is yum. Very good. Moving on. Ah, speaking. Speaking is important, so... Yes. Hello. 
Enter. Press enter and type, and then press enter again to speak. You can say longer and longer phrases the older you get. So, that's the thing I remember. When you're small or a baby, you can only say one or two words. But as you get older, you can actually say longer sentences, because it's meant to simulate how better your knowledge is, how much you're educated over time, how much information your brain retains. Uh, oh, I can repeat what I say by pressing up arrow. Hello! I am Jones. I don't want that as my last name. I do know that I am... Cat. I am Cat. I am Eve Cat. I can start the Cat family! Yee! I do know that that is a last name. And that is a name that if I become an Eve, I will definitely be because I like that name. Uh, I'm not gonna say I'm Sally. I know how to name a baby. Ah, now this is new. So, by picking up this, even though I already have one, I might as well pick this one up. I can go that, enter, slash, hatchet. Aha! Recipe. So with that, it will be able to tell me what recipes I could make with it. Very good. That's nice and handy. And just put slash. That should go back to normal, right? Good. Yes, slash by itself. Final challenge, make hatchet to chop kindling and get the fire going again. And light the torch. Easy, not a problem. So, hatchet. Have a very cool. Milkweed. Now, I know that there have been a change since I last played. Milkweed does not regenerate on its own. You have to replant milkweed. That's a lot of snakes. Snakes are bad. Do not tread on snake. Snake would not be happy, but yes. Milkweed, it does not regenerate from what I remember. You have to get fruiting milkweed seeds and replant them. So now we have that. Get my sharp stone. Uh, short shaft. Oh, I need another sharp stone. So I'm going to take this one because I like mine. I like my sharp stone. It's going to be my sharp stone. So we do this, I believe, on that. And then this... Sharp stone onto this, and we have a hatchet! Yay! And we can stoke the fire. Let's do that. Light the torch! Tor -tor -bleh. Tutorial complete! After you die, you'll be born for real. A deadly pit of rattlesnakes is provided for your convenience. That's it? That can't be it. I kind of like this torch. They should have this in the game. This is just a tutorial torch. That's sad. No, oh, they should have this in the game. There should be more to it, rather. They should have the torch in the game, but there should be more to this tutorial. I'm gonna eat this now. Yum. Really? That's it? That's it? Wait, there's more clothing. Wait, there's a door here. Hang on. What's down here? Why are you going... What are you doing down here? Go back up and light the torch. It says torch on the front. I've done that. This hallway explains a few more... Th few more things. It is optional and won't help you pass the tutorial. Wait. What? Wait, this teaches you about curses? Wait, why is this not part of the tutorial? This should be part of the tutorial. Why is this optional? That's That makes no sense. Say curse Sally Jones to spend only curse token and add to Sally's curse score. Uh, I'm guessing this is my curse token, if I recall. I don't want to use that. When you spend it, your curse token is restored after two hours of play. It appears near your temp meter, so this new symbol, I believe. I'm not quite sure what it's meant to represent, but... Uh, yes, that there is your curse token, and no, I'm not going to use it. If, if, Sally's, score, if Sally's curse score is high enough, she will be marked at birth until future lives. I heard about this too. When you are cursed a certain amount of tokens, I can't remember how many... Eight, something like that. Your text is inverted and you go to a place called Donkey Town. Everyone loses one from their curse score after every hour of play, so redemption is possible. How is this not part of the main tutorial? I don't get that. That should, th this is important to know. I saw this. Hmm. Hmm? What do you mean by hmm? What does the hmm mean? Bunnies. Hello, bunnies. You're babies. No, There's a tree. This optional area will not help you pass the tutorial. Go back and light the torch instead. How about no? I could chop this down. I see. 
I see. Okay. So you can... There is enough tools here to make an axe and I believe a shovel to get this tree cut down. Wait, why is... I don't understand. Why is this not part of the tutorial? This should be part of the tutorial. This is practically basic tool making. I'm gonna get out of here. I'm gonna make a bloody axe. I need... I need... I need a basket. I'm... No, that... That is not a sharp stone. That is a carrot. That I do not need. These I will, though. I'm gonna need all of these. Every single one. I'm not gonna turn them all into baskets, because that would be dumb. So... What do I need, then? To get out of here, I'm going to need a forge. I'm going to need materials. I'm going to eat a berry. I'm gonna have to make a fire. And I've got the I've got the basics tools for the fire. Let's just make let's make fire equipment, shall we? Uh, first of all, I'm going to need a fire bow. So we'll take the curve shaft. We'll get some rope. You. Uh, you. Get in there. There we go. And we need two more. So milkweed, two milkweed stalks make thread. Two thread makes rope. Rope goes onto there. And now I need, I believe, a short shaft. I'm going to need a long shaft too. A uh, short shaft. Sh there we go. Now I can make a fire, which I'll do in a second. I can make kindling. I'm going to need to make kindling for the fire. You. You, you will be sacrificed. There we go. Good. We have round stones. We have flint. I'm going to need some rabbit skins. I'm going to cut all these down. I need all these. So I need to make some adobe. So what I'm trying to do here, uh, everyone, is very simple. I am going to get out of here. I'm going to make a forge. I'm going to then make a axe and then a shovel. Now, I need some more tool reeds. There we go. So, first things first, I'm going to need a kiln, I believe, because I have to make some bowls. So, I'm going to make the kiln over here. I have two baskets. Two baskets are good. I'm going to make the kiln over here. So, I'm going to need to make a base so with adobe and a round stone. Roundy. There we go. And then another adobe should make... That's not adobe, that's clay. This is adobe. There we go, so that's an oven. Nom. And then... I don't need an oven, I need a kiln, so one more adobe should be enough. So now I have a kiln. Goody! Uh, let's take one of these. I'm gonna need some tongs. I'm gonna need two tongs get the flint so one tong is going to be used for um, picking up items and putting them in the kiln or slash forge eat another berry the other kiln is going to be uh, the other kiln the other tongs is going to be used to make bellows that's the word and then I have to make a snare because I'm going to need rabbit fur oh and there was a reason why I needed one more Adobe, and that's to make charcoal. See, I do remember. I haven't forgotten. Not at all. Okay. I'm uh, gonna make a snare. Should have enough for a snare by the looks of it. Hopefully there is enough milkweed. So we've got to hit that three times to make steaks. Now we need a rope. Yeah, that one. Get this. String. Rope. Rope onto stakes. Stakes become snare. Snare goes onto bunnies. Bunnies give me fur. And as always, always hunt family holes, not singular rabbits. Otherwise, they never come back. And take these out. I can't remember why I would need them, but I will do. Sorry, bunny. Ah, yes, skewers. I will need the skewer too for the meat because I need to make a needle. This will all make sense in one moment. 
I think I only need technically I only need one one bunny. Is that correct? I think. Ah, here's where my knowledge may fail me. Right. So. Uh. Yes, that's correct. Need to eat. I'm gonna eat a carrot. A carrot. So that is for the needle. That is for the water skin. That is for forging. I'm going to need more clay than that. I'm going to need... I'm going to need... Two bowls and two plates, if I... If I'm... If I can recall. Do not put it on there, that would be dumb. Uh, I'm gonna leave these down here, because I might not need them. At these... So, what do I need? So, I need a bowl. And a plate. E plate. There we go. So, these things I need to kiln. Uh, you can stack rocks now. That is a nice new mechanic, so we're going to do that. Right. I don't need a hatchet, because I already made one. This will be for iron making. I like that you can stack things now. Click. I like that noise. Click. Let's get all the iron in one spot for now. I won't need that much, but I'm gonna do that anyway. So now we need a fire, so... Let's get some... Let's get some kindling. Ooh. What are you doing, game? Down. Good. Down. Need to eat. Very good. Berry. Make sure I'm completely full. There we go. Right, so... Now I want to make a fire. Uh, you... Do you give me a leaf? You don't give me a leaf. I hate that this is not actually part of the tutorial. This is highly important. What are you doing, character? Grab the leaf, please. Leaf. And I need... I swear I saw juniper. Juniper tree, thank you. Ding, 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 ding. Hushabye. Okay, so. We're gonna make the fire. We're going to make the fire. No, we are gonna make the fire up here slightly out of the way, so. Yes, I have everything I need. So that goes on there. Leaf. Pick up leaf, please. Goes on there. That leaf goes on to the juniper. Get some kindling. Wait for that to get nice and big. And boom. We have a fire. Now. I need to fire everything. So. This is what these tongs are for. Can I actually just put them down as is? I can. Okay, very good. So, let's get this started. Kilned. Kiln, drop, pick, kiln, drop, uh, pick, drop, drop, grab, in. Great. Perfect. Perfect. Just what we need. So, what I've done now is making coal, which is important for the next bit. I'm going to have to make two batches of coal if I'm going to make enough for the forging. Ah, uh, I'm going to need to make a small fire, aren't I? Hmm, you. You will do. Let's grab some more... ...stuffs for making... Can you... Can you stack these? You cannot! That's a shame. Let's get some more kindling. So I'm going to need... ...to... ...cook the rabbit on some hot coal so I can make a needle. I'm also going to need some thread, thinking about it. That goes there. Get some thread ready for the needle. Put you there. This is no longer needed. Put you on there to make sure you're all keep going. So now we have a basket of coal, which I can now put down on the ground. Need to make another basket of coal. You go in there. One, two, 
three. And that goes in there. Okay, so now coal is making. Perfect. Aha. Bought coals. Cook the rabbit. Poor Usagi. Eat the rabbit, which is also adding to the yum chain, which is good. Pick up. I think I only need one needle, but I'll make two just in case. Because you never know. And I need a flint chip. Turn those rabbit bones into needles. Like so. Both of them, just in case. You never know. Put that back down there. Don't worry, bunny. You're fine. Okay, now I can turn this with some thread. Put the thread on the needle. Needle goes all the way down here. Use on four bits of this to make a water skin. Perfect. And then place this on a set of tongs. Oh no! Oh no! I bet you've been shouting at me all this time because I am missing something. I am missing a nozzle. Mmm, where's that steak? Need it. Need steak or skewer. I'm going to need a nozzle. There we go. How silly of me. But, you know, that's what I get for having a rusty mind. Rusty brain. Right, let's kiln this up quickly. Let's take that. Uh, there we go. So... That one goes in there. Oh no! How about... No! I hope I get some more firewood. There we go. There we go. Use all these curved branches, because I don't need them for anything else. I hear the fire going out. Oh, you can stack these. I didn't know that. That's kind of nice. I didn't know you can stack them as branches. I thought you had to stack them in a specific way, but apparently not. So that's good. Alright, let's quickly make this. Where's the nozzle? There's the nozzle. There's the nozzle. Put that down there. Right. Fire this up. You gotta cook the nozzle so you can have finished bellows. Ching. Done. Okay, and you know what? Just for good measure, I'm going to make more coal because why not? Why the heck not? So now that we have the clay nozzle, let's put it on here and now I can finally get the hell out of here. <laughs> I am still surprised that this is not part of the tutorial. I would say this is quite important to the, so, um, to knowing how to play the game. Putting the needles away. I'm gonna move this so this actually resets. I'm gonna put this needle up here too. There we go. I like everything to be nice and neat. In fact, I can put the skewer in there too. There we go. Doobie. Okay, so now that we have some coals and we have enough to do a second batch, just in case, let's get our setup. So, uh... We're going to need these here. I want the iron to be a lot closer. So let's do that. I think I'm only going to need two, but I don't mind making more. I like holding the spacebar. This is nice. It actually makes things a lot easier. I'm actually quite old now. If I take off my hat, I've, I can see I have grey hairs. I do. Oh dear. Okay, so to make the forge, you put the bellows on here. Tongs. Okay. I'm gonna do that. Hmm. No, okay. I can't just place it down. That's frustrating. Right. Ow. Okay, let's do this. Let's just do this, shall we? Oh. Let's just make sure we have a round stone, because that's going to be important. Let's switch these around. Right. Right. Okay. Everything is set. Let's go, people. Tongues. Get that. Get that. Get that. Switch around with that. Hit. Hit. There we go. Apparently I'm hungry. Will I have enough time? Probably not. Because my character can't apparently pick up things. Let's at least fire one of these, huh? That's not what I wanted you to do. Oh, heavens. Damn it. Not enough time. 
This is fine. I have more than enough time to make another... Actually, no, what am I doing? Duh. That's why I made two sets, just in case. Take that. So now that I have one thing... Let's make sure the fire doesn't go up. That's very important. Okay, so we now have a piece of steel. Oh, right. I need three... Oh, you can see how rusty I am, people. This is not good. I need three pieces of steel. This is fine. We'll just have to make sure that there is enough... Let's make sure that there is enough wood. Because I'm gonna need all that kindling. Ooh, so much burdock up there. Okay, I'm gonna make sure that's nice and stoked. Right, so how am I going to do this? Switch around with that. Okay. Okay. Where's my tongs? I'm not doing anything unless I have my tongs close by. This is also in the way, so I'm moving that. There we go. This should be everything. Everything, everything and everything. I need to do one of these. Need to do one of these, I believe. Hit with a stone. You and you. Oh, damn it. Oh, God's sake. That one. Stone. Crap. That one. That one. That one. That one. Well, I got one of them. Did I even fire this? Damn it, I didn't. This is fine. This is too hot to touch. Okay. Okay. Well, I have enough for an axe. Gotta make some... Gotta make some more coal. I've done this really badly. But that's okay. This is me remembering how to do things. This is fine. Gotta make coal. One more. Okay, so I now have a hammer. That was important. Very important. Let's give it a little. Let's give it a handle. So now I have a smithing hammer, so I can do all the smithing I need. I no longer need the bowl, so I can push that out the way. Knew that was going to happen, so. Relight the fire. Let's make sure there's enough kindling for the next step. And then I should be able to get out of here. Going to need at least two of those. Uh -huh. I'm remembering, people. I am actually remembering. It's good. It's good. Kind of. Maybe. I'm not very good at memor memorizing, obviously. Because I've obviously forgotten a lot. That's my top. Do not flash the boobage. That would be bad. Okay. Coal is ready. Forge is ready. This is unforged. And I need this to be here. I no longer need the stone. Though I could make a knife. That wouldn't be so bad, I guess. Hmm. But would I be able to do it quickly enough? Doubt. Right. Let's just get on with this. Well, that was lucky. Forged. Down. Forged. Down. Axe. Gotta wait until I can... Oh. Yes. Yes. No. Down. Shovel. 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 Huzzah! All in good time. Ah, uh, keep the fire going, why not? Keep it stoked. Okay, so now that we have that, can I stack these? No, sadly not. So, now that I have the two tools that I need, I can now give them a wooden handle and we can get the hell out of here. And I can have all that yummy burdock. Burdock or gobo, as it's called in Japan. 
Shovel. Axe. Huzzah! Freedom! Freedom! Do you mean it will not help you pass the tutorial? It certainly will. This should be part of the tutorial. It's dumb that it's not. There we go. Freedom! I am Audi. I am Audi 9000. Go north or south. Oh, I want my sharp stone. Give me my sharp stone and I can have all the burdock I want. Oh, also. I can stoke the fire. You. Da da. Nice and roaring. Okay, give me my sharp stone. Where's my sharp stone? There's my sharp stone. I am free, people. Hi. Hello. I made it out. I made it out. Happy. <laughs> I made it out. Now I'm going to eat all this burdock because I'm hungry. Go and eat. Eat. So much food. No problem, my friend. I wonder, are you new? You new? No. Cool. Me neither. Me neither, my friend. Who are you? Who is this person? You are no relation. Oh, uh, you should name yourself, lol. Core? Core? What's core? Core? I don't know what core? What? Core? Core what? I'm Lee. <laughs> Hello, Lee. Hello, Lee. I'm Cat. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, Miss Lee. I am Cat. Slash happy. Ah! Groovy. Well, the tutorial is not bad. I don't like the fact that the secondary bit of escaping is optional it should not be optional it should be um part of the tutorial it should be part of what teaches you how to get in and out of this place like for cereal like seriously this is this is what i would call an important learning area you have enough food and enough tools to make everything you need to escape this should be part of the tutorial because you have newbies coming in and they don't know how to play and this is the nice basics of learning i don't like that the the, the tutorial is like oh you're done now you know the very basics and then the next area is here's how you learn how to curse people it's like well that's important to know how to stop griefers and if you don't know that, well, you know, you're gonna have a bad day. And now I know you can learn from other players too, which is also an important thing. But I like to think that this, you know, I like to think that the game actually gives you the very basics, the very, the all the basics that you need. And not telling you about the curse token and just saying, oh, here's a pit of snakes. You're done now. Jump in. I, I don't think... I don't think that's helpful. I think this is helpful. All this is very helpful. I'm very old now. I'm also glad that you don't have a bebe. Because yelling bebes can be very difficult in all this. Um, but baby rearing is something that you can learn in a city. Unless you're an Eve and well then that would be a problem. A big problem. Problem. Hello bunny. I'm very tempted to cook you but I'm not going to. I'm going to take my basket though. 
I do like having a basket. Actually, I don't need that. I want this basket. I'm going to explore. Can I? I can't put an axe in the basket, no. But I am going to take this with me. Actually, no. I don't need that. Let's leave that there. I'm going to go exploring. It was nice to meet you, but I'm going to go exploring now. I kind of would like a backpack, but I doubt I'm going to be able to do that. I am getting old, though. Ah, oh, it's nice to be playing this game again. And I met a lovely person, so that's nice. It's kind of weird, though. Um, coming back to the game after all this time, and that everything has changed. Everything. From... The mechanics, lots of new foods. I'm hungry. That's okay. I will just forge the land. Spring onion. There we go. Wild onion. But yes, I do highly recommend all of you do the tutorial if you don't know what you're doing. Because it's a good way of learning. Why is there a tutorial? What are you doing down here? Go back on my search. What? what uh? I'm not in a tutorial spot though. Why is there a tutorial thing here? Oh, I guess thing. What? Oh, I don't know. I don't know, but I'm gonna eat this cactus. Cause yum. Can I make it to old age? Of course I can make it to old age. But yeah, everything that I I, I think that the secondary part should definitely be um, tutorial. Uh, because it teaches you how to craft things, which is very important. It doesn't teach you to farm, which is a secondary important thing that you should know. Goodbye. Bye, world. Bye, world. Goodbye, world. Any moment now when the music just turns silent, died of old age. But yes, I quite like that. Um, I like the changes in the game. Um, I know that there has been a lot of Clothing updates, um, things like ideologies and the meta has changed and I have been keeping an eye on that um, very closely actually. So I, I, I do know how to do things but it was nice to practice actually doing things. It's much different when you're actually doing it and trying to remember how to do it yourself instead of watching people. But yeah, that was kind of fun. It was nice to get back into the game. This is a nice ease in. So less troubles. You don't have to worry about other people. You don't have to worry about babies appearing and getting in your way. Um, and it's a nice way to measure how well I remember how to do things. And not perfect. Definitely not perfect. But I could do better. Could have done better. But for, you know, for what it was, I'm happy with that. I'm, I'm, I love this game. I'm happy to be coming back to this game. And hopefully you will be happy to see more videos. I actually have an idea. I think you can get back into that tutorial level. Because at the beginning of the game, when you open it up, you can actually select the tutorial. So, since you can jump back into it when you like, I think it might be a good way of teaching. So let me know if you want me to teach you very basics um, using that tutorial areas. For example, how to make a fire, um, how to make smithing tools. I don't know if I can teach you farming because it doesn't have that kind of material in there. But it would. I think I can easily teach you the very basics of how to make certain tools. Um, at least to make fire. And then after that, I probably would have to do it on the actual server. But let me know what you think, guys. I'm very much looking forward to playing this again and sharing and seeing what stories, rather, comes out of all this. So thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please let me know in the comments below. Leave a like. And hopefully, I will see you in the next one. Till then, this is Alicat Gamer signing out till next time. See ya!